Okay, hi. So as we know, we just did the Pal Rancho Palos Verdes uh, water test, which totally failed for cancer-causing problems. So now we're going to test <clears throat> this one. The cheapest water on the block. You can get a big old gallon of it. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use this test that I bought from Home Depot today. It has chlorine test, hardness, iron, pH, an alkalinity test, a copper test, an iron test or bacteria test, a nitrates test, and a hydrogen sulfide test. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> Here is, this is from the, uh, I shouldn't have marked on this, but I did, but this is tap water. This is where RPB fell in the tap water. So it failed all of these. And this one right here is the cancer. So um, I've got this one. So we're going to test it again. I've got, this comes in three different test strips right here. So on my last video, you could have seen me open all this so you would know. There's a six test, okay, a copper test, and an iron test. We're going to do the six test first. We're supposed to pour some water in here. <clears throat> so let me get that going for you okay so here's a crystal geyser i can't wait to test this one oops okay so i drink this one all the time and i feel great so i'm hoping it's gonna be it's gonna be a winner okie dokie <clears throat> crystal geyser that's the one we're testing so we'll just keep this right here <clears throat> Okay, so um, <clears throat> the first one we're going to do, I gotta have my paper ready to write it all down. <clears throat> and I said we were gonna do the sixth test. So here we go. And here are the tests that this test will do. I don't know if I showed you the back. There we go. You can pause it and read it and look at it. But the first one is cancer, look at that. And that is the chlorine test. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. Actually, the first line on here is the, is the chlorine cancer test, but it's not the first one on the test strip. <clears throat> so here's a test strip. I'm gonna open it up. As you can see, all these little colors are on here. Okay. <clears throat> so <coughs> let me get the instructions. The H2O, whoopsie. The H2O instructions, H2O okay instructions. So for this first one, it says to dip strip in for two seconds, remove with pads face up, shake once to remove excess water. Immediately read the hardness, okay? Immediately read the hardness. So here we go. <clears throat> one, one thousand, two, one thousand, shake excess water, okay? Pads up. So <clears throat> wait 30, oh yeah, immediately read for hardness. That's going to be, wow, it's going to be 100. And the chlorine is going to be 1. And the alkalinity, ooh, what's that one going to be? The alkalinity is going to be 80, wow. 80 and then that the pH is going to be 7 7 and the nitrite is going to be 0 and the nitrate is going to be 5 so <clears throat> let me show this to you because they like to change don't pay attention to the nut, the circles I have on here. This the circles on there are from the actual um, tap water in our Rancho Palos Verdes, but this one right here, so you can see, right here, this one falls under the 100, and then the next one falls under, I think it's one, and then the next one falls under eight, 80 right there, and then this one falls under seven. And then the last two are zeros. Look at that, the last two are zeros. So it actually looks like it passed everything. Is that amazing? So let's just write this down so I don't forget. So I got this down. So this one is hardness. 
This one is chlorine. This is a cancer. Cancer. Okay. It even says on the package cancer that package test alkalinity. Alkalinity. And then pH. And then we have nitrite. Nitrite <clears throat> and nitrate. Okay, so the hardness should be zero. The hardness should be zero. Okay, the chlorine should be zero to one. Zero to one. The alkalinity should be 40 to 120. The pH should be a seven or eight. The nitrate should be 0 to 0 0.5. And, oh, that's nitrite, I'm sorry. And the nitrate should be 0 to 5. So let's just see. This one should be tested. Okay, tested should be. So let's see. The hardness didn't pass, but the cancer did, right? The alkalinity did, the pH did, the nitrite did, and the nitrate did. Nitrate, so these pass. So this is the test so far for Crystal Geyser. This is amazing, right? I'm not sure what the hardness does to your body, but I'm a, you better believe I'm gonna look it up on Google and figure out if hardness really matters. <clears throat> okay, so the next test we're gonna do, this is amazing. Okay, let's do the uh, copper test. We're gonna do the copper test, okay? So I'm gonna pour this out right over here. See, okay? And we're gonna put a new one in there so that we can make sure we have fresh testing water. Okay, perfecto, perfecto. Okay, this is Crystal Geyser. It's gonna be my new favorite, favorite. Okay. So here's this, our little thing. Here's our copper test right there, copper test. And the copper test, it says swirl 10 times. We have to swirl the copper stick 10 times. Wait 15 seconds. Okay, ready, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, and now wait 15 seconds. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, this is the copper test. Oh my gosh, and it passed. It has zero. So let's look at this. Don't pay attention to the circle marks. It's from the tap water. But see, it has zero. That's awesome. Copper test has zero. Woohoo! So it tested zero for copper and it should be zero to one and it passed so I'm gonna give it a checkity mark I'm so happy okay let's do one more the last one is going to be the iron test okay mm okay if anybody knows what the hardness is or should be I'd love to hear your comments and remarks so that would be awesome, because I'm all about the water right now, so let's hear all about it. Crystal geyser. Okay, so here we go. So now we're gonna do the iron test. Here's this iron test, okay? And the iron test instructions say, um, dip strip for two seconds and then wait 60 seconds. <clears throat> okay? One 1,000, two 1,000. Wait 60, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, 33, 34, 35, 36, <clears throat> 37, 38, 
39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Okay, let's look at it. And it's at, oh, so iron. Nope, it's on the zero. I think it's on the zero. It's like an in-between color. So you see this one? Don't mess around. Don't worry about my black circles. That's from the tap water. And I think it's the first one. So it's got zero. Zero iron. Isn't that amazing? Crystal geyser passes. So zero for iron. And it should be zero. But it passed. Wow. That's remarkable. So let's look at that. Here's all my tests. This is Crystal Geyser. Okay. This is Check the Mart makes it passed. This is how it tested. These are the numbers that it tested. This is the test that it was given. And this is where it should be. So it should fall. So um, right here, the hardness was a 180. It should be zero. But so that's the only test that didn't pass. But then here's chlorine. It's a one. And it should be zero to one. Remember, the tap water for Palo Verde is at a three. It's at a freaking three for chlorine, which is cancer. So right here on the package, it says if you want to test for cancer, right here, it's a chlorine test. What what it, the problems are if you have too much chlorine is cancer. Okay, so just know that Cal RPB water, you're paying all that money to live up here and they're just feed, letting you drink cancer. So anyway, here's the test. Um, crystal geyser passed with flying colors compared to Rancho Palos Verdes, but now we need to find a water that passes all the tests. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I'd love to see your comments. Let me know how you think or if we can do a water test at your place. Thank you. Bye.